Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 12 before going ahead with part 13. So now we will talk about some important terminologies which will help you to understand the magnetic field lines of the earth. Like now if I am saying that earth behaves like a magnet that means earth will also have a north pole and a south pole and earth will also have its magnetic lines of force. Right. So now let us first talk about the magnetic north and south poles. All of you must be knowing you would have studied in, in, in your geography classes that earth when you look at the earth as a I mean when you look at your globe you have a north pole at the extreme top and you have another south pole at the extreme down opposite to the north pole right but when we talk about magnetic north and magnetic south pole it is seen that the magnetic north pole and the geographic north pole geographic north pole is the normal north pole which we talk about in your in our maps right if you open your atlas you will see that okay this is the north pole this is the south pole but that geographic north and geographic south pole are not the same as the magnetic north and magnetic south pole that that was what was observed how was that observed because the earth's magnetic north and south pole was determined by looking at the pattern of the magnetic field lines so it was observed that let us suppose that this is the earth so it was seen that if this was the earth and the magnetic field line patterns looked somewhat like this which showed that the magnetic field lines originated and terminated at these two points whereas the geographic north and south pole were somewhere here right so it was found that when in, in talking in terms of magnetism the magnetic lines of force are originating and terminating at points which are not coinciding with the geographic north and south pole so it was then defined separately so we defined magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole as the points of origin and termination of the magnetic lines of force of the earth that is magnetic field lines so that is how magnetic north and magnetic south poles were found. So it was found that the axis of the dipole doesn't coincide with the axis of rotation. That means when I talk about the axis of rotation of the earth, axis of rotation is nothing but the axis which joins the geographic north and geographic south pole. But it was found that the magnetic north and the magnetic south pole were somewhere here. So the line which joins the magnetic north and the magnetic south is known as the axis of dipole because magnetic north and magnetic south together form a, they act as a magnetic dipole right. So the axis of this dipole doesn't coincide with the axis of rotation. So this is the axis of rotation and this is the axis of dipole. So it was found that the axis of rotation and the axis of dipole doesn't coincide. So and they make an angle of approximately 11.3 degrees. Right. So this is how magnetic north and magnetic south poles were defined. So I hope it is clear to you now that there is there is a separate geographic north and south pole and there is a separate magnetic north and south pole. So when we talk about magnetism, when we talk about magnetic field of earth, magnetic field lines of earth, we talk about the magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole. So we generally denote it with a subscript M that is NM for magnetic north and SM for magnetic south. So now there was another interesting observation and that was that when the magnetic lines of force were more closely observed it was seen that the lines of force are originating from magnetic south and it is terminating at magnetic north which is opposite to what we see I mean what we have assumed so far in case of a bar magnet because normally when scientists were studying physics they gave this convention or they discovered 
as I told you, right? How did we discover magnetic lines of force? They sprinkled some iron filings on a piece of glass and under which they placed a magnet. So that is how they discovered the pattern of the magnetic lines of force. And it was then told that the magnetic lines of force will always originate from the North Pole and it will terminate in the South Pole. But later, when when more research was done on Earth's magnetism, it was found that the Earth's magnetic field lines were originating from magnetic south and they were terminating to magnetic north. So this created a confusion. Then, I mean, then what is actually happening? Whether it, they are originating from south pole and terminating to north pole or whether they originate from north pole and they terminate at south pole. So basically, the fact was that the magnet, what happens? Now think it in this way. If you have a bar magnet and you leave the bar magnet on its own, where does the bar magnet go? The bar magnet always points towards the north-south direction. That means your bar magnet, if you leave a bar magnet on its own, the bar magnet will align itself somewhat like this. So the bar magnet will align itself in the north-south direction. That's because the south pole of the bar magnet will get attracted towards the magnetic north. Similarly, the north pole of the bar magnet should get attracted towards the magnetic south. So basically the issue was that the pole which we named as magnetic north was actually the magnetic south pole and the pole which we named as magnetic south was actually the magnetic north pole. Wait, I'm sure you are a little confused right now. So let me explain it again. See, what happened was initially, everybody knew that this is the north pole of the earth, this is the south pole of the earth. Scientists first observed the pattern of the magnetic field lines and they told that the magnetic field lines are originating and terminating at these two points. So these two points are supposed to be the magnetic north and magnetic south poles. Now they named this as magnetic north because it was near to the geographic north. This pole was nearer to geographic north, so they called it as magnetic north. Similarly, this was nearer to geographic south, so they called it as magnetic south. But when they later did more research and observed the direction of magnetic field lines, they saw that the field lines were originating from magnetic south and they were terminating at magnetic north. So then they actually found that that means the one which they named as magnetic north is not actually magnetic north. This is basically magnetic south. But they, since they have named it before, just looking at its location, since it was nearer to geographic north, they called it magnetic north. Since it was nearer to magnetic south, uh, geographic south, so they called it magnetic south. But actually in terms of physics, in terms of magnetism, the, mag the pole which we call as magnetic north, it actually behaves as a magnetic south pole. That is why when you take a bar magnet and leave it free, I mean when you suspend a bar magnet freely, the bar magnet always aligns itself in the north-south direction, right? So when you look at the bar magnet, the bar magnet will align itself like this. The north pole will be in this direction, the south pole will be in this direction. That's because the north pole of the bar magnet is getting attracted by the south pole of the earth's magnet. And this magnetic north pole is nothing but the actual south pole. It is actually magnetic south. Because of that, it is attracting the north pole of the bar magnet and that is why the bar magnet aligns itself in, in this direction. So, the baseline is that the actually the magnetic north actually the pole which we call as magnetic north it behaves like a magnetic south and the pole which we call as magnetic south it behaves like a magnetic north pole so i hope i am able to clarify the point so so what did we study so far we studied that there is a separate magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole which are different from geographic north pole and geographic south pole. The line which joins the geographic north and geographic south is the axis of rotation. The line which joins the magnetic north and magnetic south is the axis of the dipole. The pole which we named as, since the scientists named the uh, magnetic north and magnetic south before, so the pole which was named as magnetic north that actually behaves like a magnetic south pole and the pole which is the magnetic south 
it actually behaves like a magnetic north pole so when if you are ever asked to draw the magnetic field lines of the earth then you are supposed to draw the field lines from south to north if you look at this figure you have your magnetic south pole here you have your magnetic north pole here and if you look at the magnetic field lines they are going from south to north right because this magnetic south pole is actually the magnetic north pole and the magnetic north pole is actually the it actually behaves like a magnetic south pole so i hope it is clear now so now don't get confused whenever somebody asks you which is magnetic north and which is magnetic south the magnetic north is the one which is nearer to the geographic north magnetic south is the one which is nearer to the geographic south but when you draw the magnetic lines of force it should go from magnetic south to magnetic north so i hope it is clear these are the basic facts if these are not clear then you will not understand what we are going to study in the next few slides right thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again